after the war. Yeah. I've been, I wasn't staying here till after the war. I went to Russia when the Russian Revolution broke up. The 5th of May, 1917, I was already in Russia. I was in Russia and read the Russian paper. I read it. And I find a paper, they won't release no one anarchist to the... So what the can I do? I put this paper, they could kill me for that. I stole it. And I came in the evening, to the committee for Kropotkin's funeral. Mm -hmm. They, for the, you know, Kropotkin was in, in the uh, house by more than a week in the high, uh, Dom Soyuzov. Dom Soyuzov is in the headquarters of the unions. Did the prisoners return to prison after the funeral? Well, well, they didn't when we had a club, still one club there in Moscow. We had, and they spoke about the prisoners and others. And I remember, I forgot his name, who said, we just today, this morning, we, uh, uh, we buried uh, one comrade, mm. and now tomorrow morning, this comrades will bury themselves. They go back, you know, they go back. How many and people were at the funeral? I don't, I don't remember. Don't remember, you want, how many years from 1921? You want me to remember? I have a mother, if you know, I believe five, six years ago, I would know, I would remember, but now every day I find out. When did you return to England after you left Russia? Oh, it was, um, I left Russia 1927, I was 10 years there, but they didn't let me in here. They didn't give me a visa. I couldn't come back, so I went to, to Paris, and to Paris was also I didn't that. So how long were you in Paris for? A year. A year. And then there in Paris, somebody helped me to come here. Yeah. So when did you arrive back in England? In 1928? You know who helped me? To, you heard about Sholem Schwarzbart who killed Petluri? No. Oh, you also didn't hear this. Well, Albert knows everything. <laughs> he, he also didn't know it. The Jewish, was when I left, was a, a large movement. They mm. all went because the Polish, the Romanians, the uh, other uh, countries. Uh, I, I didn't want to stay here. I wanted to go, but I couldn't go. I didn't have papers. I didn't have nothing. Where can you go? Nobody will let you in. Oh, yeah, I was, you see. When you returned to England in 1928, did you join any organisation? No, it's I didn't want to join this group, this Jewish group, and was not much of a of an English group. I was so disappointed, and and, and the freedom was a small size in an old man. Um, um, he was before. Hmm? What year did you go to Palestine? What? In 1932. Then, then the first, what I became, the... I uh, get the... I could move. Yeah. I could get a visit. I had a visit. Huh? When you returned to Britain in 1936, had the movement changed? The anarchist movement, had it changed? Oh, it changed a lot. The, the uh, revolution in Spain brought many, many youth to the anarchist movement, maybe in other, other parties as well. From Tooting came hundred. You asked Albert Meltzer. Then I left uh, London, Paris, in France, and the French, they were all, when I was, I was a month in France when I, uh, on my back from Palestine, a, a month in, in Paris. 
But when I heard the Spanish Revolution broke out, I came to London. I, I could go when I want to London then. I had you see. They all gave it, even Albert Meltzer gave it to me. But Albert Meltzer's uh, subscription was so little. So I said, here comes what's so little. He said to me, my, my friends are not millionaires. I said, my friends are also not millionaires. And she, then she came, the wheels start moving. She organized, she took a, a flat, made her offices, anarchist offices, and old, in some Spanish uh, comrades would they come, they've been there, and she and start organizing public meetings and so on. But before she came, before Emma Goldman, I collected clothes for the Spanish people. The people left. They, the English people like something, uh, what do you call, something that gives them a push. Yes. The Spanish uh, Revolution gave them a push. Oh, then it comes many young people, young lives, young blood from outside England. Mm. Also gives them good. Do you speak about anarchism here? And they, the, the guards, you know, was military guards. Yeah. There they was. But so then they had Rocker. They said, I know Rocker. And with such a tune that it's, uh, they, um, uh, they know, that's, uh, they proud of it. They proud they knew. I remember I brought a parcel through. I find out you got to write it down on the puzzle to them. And when I write it down on the puzzle, the guy told me, why didn't you tell me it's for Mr. Rocker? I knew Mr. Rocker. And with such a, uh, with the, his face was so lighted up mm -hmm. that he's proud. And Kropotkin had a, yes, I didn't see Kropotkin. I've been here. Uh, three or four years. I came the end of 1913 and I left in 1917. How many years I was? Four. Four years. I didn't see Kropotkin. No one believed me when I sat in Russia. I've been in England. You've been in England? You didn't see Kropotkin? I said no, because he didn't live in, in London. He was ill. He was ill, he lived in Brighton, in a... about Lord Kitchener, but I cared about these two Russians. And then they stopped, they didn't let women go, uh, because uh, the Germans sunk the ships. So I was st uh, uh, protesting, men can be drowned, but not, why not women? They want to go to the Russian Revolution. Women's, li women's lives are dearer than the men's. And then was already the heck and don't listen to them. You know, and, and, oh yes, Shapira was then, Alexander Shapira. He took me out, but the, oh, dragged me out from this. He said, Leah, you want to go to Russia? I said, yes. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here now. He said, you can go. Said, well, they, will, they will move the ship till you will be done with the rest of So, uh, careful, you will. What is this? I got here from when I left. You can see the date. I got photographs when I left, and you can see the date when I came to England. This is the art pictures, all art. Into the world. All together. 
You want, I thought you want to know what it was the movement here. About me? No, just to start. <laughs> I was born in Ades. Yes. And I was brought up, I was a baby when they brought me in Poland to Warsaw to grow up. Not, not before in a little town, Gavolino, it's a little town, and then we moved to Warsaw. I don't remember this. How old were you when, how old were you when you were, when you left Warsaw? When I left, when I came here. Yes. I was uh, 15 and a half or 15 and four months, something over 15. Did, uh, did you Therefore, have any... my parents didn't let me go. Did you have any brothers or sisters? Hmm? Did you have any brothers or sisters? Sisters, I had two sisters. The sister, she was uh, here when she, when she left, I was four years old and I had a a uh, married sister, my sister, w had already grandchildren when I came back there in 1937. I've been twice back to Poland, not in Russia. Right. They live, they run away from Russia yeah. in P Poland. Mm. And I made up my mind to come back. And then I remember my sister telling me, what are you worrying? In a war, you will be better off here. This is true. The Russia always suffered more from the war. I said, maybe, but in a war, I want to be with mom and dad. I'm the youngest. They, she agreed with me, but I couldn't go. I said, the mother, mother will understand, she said, that you cannot come back. Although mother knew me, if I gave a promise, I tried to keep it. I would, although I like better London than Warsaw and the people, mm. although I, I remember I wrote letters to my young friends, what I had there, that uh, the working people, they are, ex they are exploited all over the world, everywhere, but they still got better conditions then in Poland. How did, how, did how did you find the money to travel to England? I told you, a friend sent me. <laughs> so. A friend. He was, he was a rabbi's son. He ran away from home and came to Warsaw, a young man. He didn't want to be a rabbi. His older brother was a rabbi, and they would make him for a rabbi. He ran away. He was... What year did you arrive in England for the first Na time? The end of 1913, in November. Was it cold? Well, I still got cards, but my friends just gave me when I left. And there is the uh, pictures and cards, the, uh, the date. In, in the November, I still was in Poland because they, uh, it's, it's there. It must be the last days of November I came. And it was for nearly two weeks, all raining and in fog. Then it was a fog terrible. People used to go in the street with torches in the daytime, not such a fog. So I once, when I've been by my sister, and I cried. I said, hey, can you be in a country where it's in the daytime, no sun, and in the night, in the evening, no stars? And there was a friend of her, she they both start laughing. <laughs> they said... Did you become an anarchist in Poland or in England? Oh, you? In, I was, but I, know, I was no known to me. I was an anarchist, but I didn't know. Mm. Many people, they are anarchists and they don't know. They cannot give it a name. Till they, uh, or by accident, or by, uh, what do you call it, 
something uh, gives you a push but you don't know. If I would stay with my sister or with my nuns, I, may, I never would maybe find out. Mm. But when I stayed with this comrade, he had a big library from all the languages. I couldn't speak. I don't understand. And I didn't know why, but when I become an anarchist, I, 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 I knew why it's done. I don't like leaders, although I wasn't an anarchist. I didn't know why I don't like him, although they old and they got a lot of experience, but I didn't like them to dictate me to, to do this, do that, don't do this, don't do that. I hate this. I didn't know. It wasn't me. Many anarchists here told me, it was born in you. I said, maybe, but I didn't.